Hey, hi, hello. Welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and hopefully add all kinds of awesome games to your backlog or your wish list or I don't know, your now playing list. Maybe you see something out here and you're like, holy cats, you know, because you're saying holy cats all the time. Uh, and you go, man, I got to play that right away. Right away. I'll tell you, if you like rogues, you're in the right place. That's what we play here. And I'm glad you're here with us. I'm always glad you're here with us. Uh, this has been such a blast working on this channel. Growing a community. And... Now, for 2023, giving away games every week. My goodness, what a time. Hey, I'm back here with another roguelite survival game. Uh, you know, it's one of those games where uh, the kids are calling them bullet heavens. You've heard of these, right? Once or twice out there on the streets. Hey, but you know what's interesting about this game? This game is a combination of Bullet Heaven and Bullet Hell. How about that? Have we seen that before? I don't know that we've seen that before. This has a unique feel to it. The other thing that's cool is that we're building a robot along the way as we level up. At least I think that's what we're doing. I haven't quite figured it out yet. But but that's what I'm going to say we're doing. And that's what you're stuck with. Uh, let's go ahead and put a point into the Ultra Buster. I should probably say the name of the game. This is a game called Picayune Dreams. And there is a decent chance that I am mispronouncing that title. But that's okay too. That's all right. Uh, if you want to see more about this game, I am providing the link in the description. Because you might want to check this out. There is a free playable demo. That's what you're seeing right now. I heard about this game out on one of the subreddits that I follow. The dev had posted and said, hey, we've got a demo out there. Why don't you check this out? We just went Cyclops mode. Remember him? Yep. That's what we're doing now. Very exciting. So the other thing I like about this is that there's some obscurity that's happening. I don't know if you've picked up on this or not yet, but when I go to choose an upgrade, uh, what we're seeing as a description is several lines of code. And I don't program. So that's kind of interesting. Let's go with the missile pack here. See, we're building up our arsenal of capabilities and building upon a, uh, well, uh, a Terminator, right? We're creating our own Terminator. This might as well be chat GPT. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. You know, every day I hear more and more about... Uh, Chat GPT, I, I guess it just passed one of the uh, MBA level exams over at uh, Wharton. Um, what a time, what a time. But we're not gonna get into that today. We're gonna have uh, some really nice runs in Picayune Dreams. And you know, I'll tell you, I heard from Sarah in the comments section the other day and uh, Sarah was so kind talking about how uh, there's an appreciation for uh, my retired father being a gamer and uh, just really likes hearing those updates so I, I have a fun one for today uh, it involves a series of text messages that I received that uh, I, I, I think you'll find hilarious so we're gonna we're gonna get into that, and um, 
you know, we'll probably mention uh, something about coffee because I've got a really nice cup going. Um, it, it saddens me. This is my Sumatra that I've been drinking, which is a very dark roast. Uh, really nice, bold, smoky flavors. Pop some oat milk in there, and my goodness, what a time. Uh, I'm getting to the bottom of the bag, and, you know, I... I don't always feel this way when I get to the bottom of the bag, but with this one, I'm, I'm a little upset that, you know, this one, uh, this one is coming to an end, but it opens up the possibility to drink many more coffees. So if you look over here, we've got an if statement. We've got something about radio dot hit only once equals true. There's some knockback happening. We're going to go with this one. Uh, I've done a few runs, and I think this both slows enemies down and knocks them back a little bit, which, you know, crowd control is so important in the Bullet Heaven games. Um, so we'll go with it. We'll go with it. But, uh, yeah, I have, I have so many bags of coffee sitting there. Great problem to have. Uh, we also have specials in this game. We can uh, create a black hole type event. Ooh, nice magnesis there. Uh, let's go with an update to the missiles. We'll upgrade them to version 2.0. Probably shoot another missile out or maybe more frequent. Who the hell knows? Because I, I uh, can't read the code. But I, I, you know, I can't think of another bullet heaven that, that approaches upgrades like that. So I definitely give them credit. Okay, so this is where it gets uh, strange sometimes. You keep calling me Sil. Is that my name? Uh, this is a rabbit looking guy. And at one point in an earlier encounter... He was talking about going out there and, and getting some carrots. I'm not making this up. Um, this game has charm to it. But this is where the bullet hell begins. And uh, we get this really nice combination of bullet heaven and bullet hell working together. And I, again, I, I think this is unique. I, I don't know that I've seen this approach before with these types of games. So it's really refreshing uh, to have both going on. And, um, you know, right now it's not too crazy, but uh, believe you me, it's it's going to get it's going to get a little. All right. Um, so stick with me here. I'm going to do the best I can. Oh, my goodness. See, I told you. All right. We're going to stay right in here. I always get nostalgic for Ikaruga on the Dreamcast. All right, I figured like figured it was a good time to use that. Perfect. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. What do we want to get here? Yo-Yo Rack. I don't know what this does, but I know what the leg saw does, and I know what C4 does. You want to see the? You know what? We already have a leg saw. We don't have the C4. This is going to make guys explode occasionally upon their death. Now, I haven't figured this out either. Um, I'm assuming that this is harder because of the two skulls. So I'm going to go towards, uh, you know, hairy strawberry man with big eyes over here. Uh, at least that's what it looks like to me. We can debate that if you'd like. All right. Now we've got a mini boss that's just showed up here. Okay, looks like we've got, ooh, man. So the black hole bombs are limited. We've got one left. And this might be carrying something good. Let's see if we can blow this open. Okay. Not sure what we got there. 
at some point things start to happen fast. Um, if we grab this, we're going to have another rotating blade. I think that's probably the way to go. I don't know what the horns do. Haven't messed around with those too much. Uh, so anyway, let's let's get back on track here. We were talking about coffee. Um, good news. I'm, I'm going to have some coffee to talk about, but... Cheers to you. I, I hope you've got something good in your cup today, whether it's a coffee or a tea, something you enjoy. Always got to say cheers, right? Um, so, if you've been keeping up with things, I bought my dad a copy of Callisto Protocol for... Christmas. Uh, let's go with an update to the Ultra Buster. And uh, he loves that game. He, he just loves that game. And, uh, you know, this is the guy that has played through the third Dead Space uh, probably five or six times. He just, he loves these games. Right? So, About a week ago, week and a half ago, something like this, I saw him over the weekend. What do we want to do here? All right, so that's going to probably speed us up, I'm assuming. This will give us some additional projectile speed. I'm, let's go with some uh, wider magnesis here. Suck these guys in real quick. Just kind of clear things out around us if we can. Oh, boy. And uh, he he was stuck on the final boss for a while, which, you know, is not shocking. I mean, I, I had a heck of a time uh, for a minute with the final boss of, of Callisto as well. So not shocking that, you know, this would be challenging for him. Don't have this yet. Uh, let's let's try it. Let's try the yo-yo rack. Can anybody figure out what the yo-yo rack does? Oh, there it is. There's the yo-yo. Okay, I see it. All right, that's pretty cool. I feel like we're in Star Tropics now. Remember that game? Anyway. So he he beat Callisto. And he has learned about the greatness of New Game Plus. And he's telling me, you know, I get a text message the one day. He goes, hey, uh, you know about this New Game Plus thing? He says, uh, you know, you, you can go, you go right back into the game. You got all your stuff from when you were playing. I said, yeah, I, yes, I'm aware of New Game Plus. Um... You know, yeah, that, that could be fun. Now, you know, I'm not one to replay a lot of games, uh, which I'm sure you think is funny because I play rogues and, and basically you're, you're replaying the game every time you sit down to play the game. Uh, but the longer, you know, AAA titles, I, I usually play them and then I'm done and I don't usually come back, you know, unless there's, I guess, DLC, something like that. Boy, we are getting surrounded here. Uh, let's go with an update to this radio jamming functionality. Maybe that'll give us a new lease on life here. We got to do something to slow down what's happening. Oh, man. All right. One more hit. We're terminated. Uh, let's see here. I... This will give us a shield, but... I, I can't figure out if this shield regenerates. Maybe that's what that 60 times 60 is. I don't know. Somebody more intelligent than me is going to have to comment and uh, tell me about all the things that I, I did wrong. Because <laughs> I'm sure there's quite a few. Uh, so anyway, he is actively going through Callisto... 
in New Game Plus. And this really funny text message comes through like a day after he tells me that, you know, he's, he's started it again. So I get the text message and all it says, you know, with, with no context, I mean, if I didn't remember what was going on, I, I would have been like, what is this all about? Text message says, it is so nice to shoot these dickheads this time. And I'm sitting there going, what is he on about? What are we talking about here? What is this? And then it occurs to me, oh, yeah, he's brought in the upgraded gun that he had, and that's what he's talking about. Let's go into the meta progression system here. Let's show this off, and we'll do one more run. So... You're leveling up, okay? So apparently we're level six right now, and you're opening up skill points as you level up. So we've got one skill point to spend right now, and I've been popping points into the core bullet system. So every time a boss is slain, they will drop an injectable drill that will provide a powerful buff and a slight nerf. Uh, each time you pick up a magnet, you will gain 1% XP pickup radius. Defeating a powerful foe will make them drop 3 HP vials. You know, I think we probably should go with this. And let's see, defeating a powerful foe will increase your life force by 10 permanently. Upon taking damage, punt all nearby enemies away from you. I like that. Upon taking damage, the duration before you are able to take damage again is increased. Okay. All right. That's cool. So maybe that'll help us a little bit. Uh, let's do one more run. I'm hoping to find the parasites this time because I think they're really cool. Should we go to a space frog this time? That's what he looks like to me. Space Frog. All right. Midnight Pebble. Don't know what that means either. Maybe that's referring to this, uh, this asteroid right here. I could, I could see that. All right, have I taken the demon wings before? So it looks like this is going to maybe offer... If moving equals true, demon wing and stuck create a trail. Okay, so maybe it's going to do something with the trail. Ah, okay. So is that a damaging trail, I wonder? See, it's got some mystery to it. I, I think that's fun. I don't really know what you're going to get. And it doesn't appear that we're moving faster as far as I know. So I'm assuming that this is going to be a damaging trail. And I believe that is what's happening. All right. Now, the reason those shots are coming back is because I got this boomerang upgrade. This would be the Cyclops Eye. That would be the, you know what? Let's try the yo-yo again. We didn't get to spend much time with that, but it looks like the yo-yo also does some knockback. Maybe. Oh, I like that. All right, so that's what that red thing does. It's the bullet heaven, bullet hell that offers all kinds of mystery and intrigue. How about that? Okay, let's go with the leg saw. Saw's got some decent power to it uh, early on in the run. Okay. You know, and I've done some looking as well to try and understand if the numbered power pebbles drop in value over time like does a 10 eventually turn into a nine i have not noticed it doing that 
Uh, but I'll admit it's it's hard to continue to you know track them. So I don't know if there is a uh, rate at which they decline in value. But I, I'm I'm thinking that that is a possibility. I'm almost sure at this point that that is a damaging trail of bat wings, which is pretty cool. I wouldn't mind upgrading that a little bit. Um, but we do need to also think about the fact that the boss uh, is really going to be more inclined to take damage from a distance. So that's why I'm hoping that the viral worms show up so that we can show that off as well because they're they're very good for this first boss. All right. Uh, did you watch cooldown? All right, so that's probably going to benefit the cooldown. Let's go with the leg saw. Should shoot multiples. Yeah, there we go. So I think we should all uh, vote in the comments as to how many times my dad will decide to go through Callisto. Uh, here's the only thing that could throw this off. Dead Space Remake is coming, and he is extremely aware of that. I I think he's definitely going to check into it. This is kind of a whip. That's what it reminds me of. Let's go with it. I, I also haven't used this attachment uh, too much, so I wouldn't mind seeing how it develops as it builds in power. Oh, okay. Hey, this is nice. Perfect. Uh, slime spike or missile pack. Uh, let's get another another thing out there doing damage, shouldn't we? That seems like the smart play. All right. Take a quick sip there. That's why my uh, reticle stopped moving. Uh, which I guess is a point of clarification. Um, this is not an auto-aim type of uh, situation for the core bullets. You, you do need to aim the reticle uh, and, and target whatever you'd like to. I'm leaning towards the leg saw at this point. Just in light of the fact that that boss is more of a distance guy. Yeah, let's do that. We have three of them now? Uh, maybe it's still two. I can't tell. Oh, it is three. Okay, perfect. Let's open this box if we can. There we go. All right. Hey, there's the parasite. Okay. All right, if we could level that bad boy up before uh, the crazy rabbit shows up, boy, I'd be happy about that, let me tell you. Okay. Yeah, see the parrot on there, and then it immediately goes and finds something else to go and get. It looks like we're not going to be able to upgrade the parasite again. Um, let's go dagger glove and maybe this magnet will shoot us right into another upgrade. Or not. Come on, be an upgrade cube. No, all right. That's okay. Oh, there he is. Why do programmers eat carrots? I don't care. So they can see sharp. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right. I'm into it. I'm into it. Uh, you should play this. You should You should give this a try. It's, it's pretty phenomenal. All right. How are we doing here? Is our, is our parasite eating him up good? 
maybe? A little bit? The, the aiming and looking at the bullets is, uh, well, you know, it's, it's a thing. It's a skill. It's, uh, it's a skill. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So far, we're doing pretty great. Wow. Okay. All right. I feel good about that. Uh... We're going straight to Sawtown, and do we go Cyclops Town? No, we go Sawtown again. I like the Cyclops. I just, I don't think it's very strong is the thing. All right, perfect time for coffee sip, right? All right. You know, I think the organic magnesis is pretty fair. You know, you can you can upgrade it, of course, and, and make it a capability. Uh, we could have right there on that last one, but I'm I think I think the organic uh, capability is is pretty good, just by itself. Seems pretty fair. All right, we got a big dude here. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's go Parasite level two. I, I don't know if we've taken a hit. I mean, this run is going really well so far. I don't want to jinx it. Maybe I just jinxed it. But we're seven and a half minutes in. I mean... Not bad. Uh, let's go with the Parasite again. Especially if the next boss is going to be distance as well. Oh, nice. Love that. Now, I think most of us are used to seeing the different colored gems and you know some of the colors indicating the value of said gem uh, in terms of the experience it's going to offer i actually like how the numbers are bigger and and that's how we're indicating that okay uh man don't know what this does uh one way to find out right Oh, we've got a bouncy ball now. Okay. All right, I'm a fan of that. Some of these dudes look like fish. Some of them look like broken DNA strands. You got a real nice variety. That that little thing looks like a hamburger. I'm not hungry, you are. All right, we'll go missile pack. Maybe get some more missiles flying around out there. Tremendous. Ooh, all right. Took that one on the chin, that's okay. Yeah, we may have to clear right now. Um, you know what? Let's let's put a point into the demon wings again here. I I think they're pretty helpful. Okay, so the gray things uh, give us more uses of the black hole. That's what that is. And the little red ones are the things that create the explosion on the screen. Which is really great at clearing things for us. Okay. Um, I'm leaning towards the C4, but it would also be interesting to put another point in the yo-yo. Let's do the yo-yo. Especially if it's doing some knockback for us. 
Might be nice too to support that a little bit more with another uh, slime claw or whatever that thing is called that is flying around us. All right, um, slime spike. That's what I meant. Slime spike. Let's get another one. All right. So we have half of our health. Uh, there's 360. Nice. Um, I am thinking we go saw. Let's do it. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. It, it's time. It's time. Let's just clear. Let's grab some points. And if we go IV bag, I think we're going to get some additional health. Probably time for that. Oh, boy. All right. Okay, we got a dude over here. Is he gonna drop some health for us? Nope. Oh. Uh, hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm tempted to go missile. Let's do that. Oh boy, okay. We have to. Oh, okay. That was fun. That was really, really good. Uh, this is a game called Pikayun Dreams, if I am pronouncing that correctly. Apologies if I'm not, but uh, I'm so pleased that the dev posted about this game out there uh, because I've been having a ball with it for the last couple hours here. And uh, if you like bullet heavens and bullet hells, I, I think you'll enjoy this one. Um, we have a skill point here. I'm trying to decide what we want to do. I would think either this or this and then we could start building upon the leech capability so i love these leeches um upon answering a call from a powerful foe the incoming signal will magnetize all xp towards you i mean that's pretty cool too you know i think i'm going to put it in here for now and you can turn all of these off and redistribute your points as well if you know you want to make a different decision or build out differently i don't know Check this game out. It's fun. Um, thanks so much for hanging out for a little bit. And uh, thank you for all the kind words lately in the comments. All of you are great. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. I'm glad that some of these devs are reaching out and allowing me to play their games, like Flamekeeper, for instance. Uh, I was tickled to hear from those guys. Uh, have them allow me to play the game and show it off for you all so uh the adventure continues and i'll tell you what uh we'll see you next time out on the goat force gaming channel where we will play a roguelike or a roguelite because that's what we do every time and uh hey we're also giving away a game at least once a week in 2023 can you believe it? This week, we're giving out two copies of Tiny Rogues. So if you don't have Tiny Rogues yet and you are Tiny Rogues curious, go take a look at the Tiny Rogues video from Monday. I'll link to it at the end of the video. 
and uh, be subscribed and leave a comment. And you're in. You're in. I'll select two winners uh, probably sometime Friday afternoon. That is January 27th, 2023. And if you're late, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll try to get you next time. We're doing it every week. All right. Listen, you take care out there. We'll see you again soon.